We are just days away from phase one of Metro Silver Line opening. Yeah, today we will hear more about the takeover of the new line from the head of Metro. Our John Gonzalez is covering Metro for us live in Tyson's Corner, where in just two days you can ride the rails out there. John. That's right, Atria, and these new Silver Line trains have been coming through this morning about every 6 to 12 minutes. Now, remember, these are only test runs for now. In just a few days, they will be packed with passengers. Hard to believe 20 years ago, people thought this would either be a bad idea or a fantasy. Well, here it is, one of the new metro stations in Tyson's Corner. Specifically, this one is called the Spring Hill Station, and this very congested area of Tyson's Corner is going to feel the biggest impact with this $3 billion project. The idea is to make this area more pedestrian friendly while at the same time taking cars off the roads. Now there have been some kinks this week, which is why they're doing these test runs. This week has been a challenge for commuters as the Silver Line has been running what they've been calling a simulation service for employees to get familiar with the new route and the new five stops. But that has meant fewer trains on the blue and orange lines, bigger crowds and longer delays. Now 11 miles of the new tracks will open to the public on Saturday at at noon, it links Tyson's to Reston, and by 2018, the project will extend another 11 miles to Dulles International Airport. By then, the price tag will be close to $6 billion. We'll have to see if all of this is, well, worth it. Reporting live in Tyson's Corner, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.